Frederick, and this is a golfer's walk. Today, I'm gonna play a few holes. I'm gonna try and get in nine holes before the sun goes down and see how long it can go. I've only gotten out to play a few holes this year, so this would be the first time I've really tried to get nine in. Now the conditions are a little different and I uh, should be able to shoot a pretty low score given uh, the special conditions of the golf course. Uh, trying to maintain distances, safe distances and all by having uh, the pins uh, not really in. I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, if you want to know more about how golf courses can do that, click in the link above here and I'll also have it in the description on how courses uh, around here are dealing with the COVID virus and keeping everyone safe. All right, so hitting it heavy has put me here and short of the corner. The green is around the corner and up there. Should be able to hit a little punch, cut, and get fairly close to the green. Hit it all right. It just didn't cut too much, so I'm probably gonna be probably gonna be in a bunker up there. And I definitely left myself a hard shot. Went a little bit too far. Now I gotta go out of this bunker, over the corner of another one, and then try and stop it on a downhill. Realistically, anything probably within 20 feet would be a pretty good shot. That was a really good shot. I thought it was going to be awesome, but it had so much spin on it. I have to take a look at the uh, replay, but I thought, I thought that it landed like right here, but I think it had an awful lot of spinach on it to just spun it right back there. So still 15 feet. It's a good shot. I just got to try and make it. So remember, we have the pins up, cups up. So all we have to do is hit the cup and it's considered whole. That way we don't have to touch anything. Stay safe. Sir, all that short game practice. That bunker shot, I actually enjoyed. I know a lot of people are afraid, but really there's one key to bunker play. And I uh, actually just did a video so on bunker play and kind of the keys, the way that Tiger Woods hits uh, his bunker shots. So I'm gonna put another link up here as well. It's down in the description, check it out. I think uh, if you can master what I show you, which is not to get all that hard, I think you'll find bunker play to be a lot more enjoyable. All right, got 163 up the hill. Wind, I believe is off the right. So kind of dead, but the top of the trees are still blowing. So probably play a seven iron, just a flight of seven iron down a little.
think it just went right through the wind. It's on the green, a little left, good spot. Just uh, probably a little farther back than I want. So Pim's actually farther back than I thought. So it worked out in my favor, so got a pretty good putt at it. This green's really, really sloped from front to back and from right to left. So I'm actually putting almost straight up the hill, as straight as it gets on this green. Pretty slow. All right. All right, so that keeps me at even par through two. Looks like some clouds are moving in, so I think I'm gonna kind of keep things moving along and keep the, uh, the chat down and just try and get these holes in. All right, so this is number three, par four, straight up the hill, very tight. This typically is rated uh, most years the hardest hole in the golf course, uh, or the uh, hardest hole on this side rather, so second hardest hole in the course. So this is usually just more about position, so I'm just gonna hit a little stinger four iron get in play. Actually quite a bit of wind into our face and it is wet so I'm gonna hit a little bit more like a stinger knock down three wood. Alright, so second shot missed to the right of the green. This is severely downhill towards the pin. Actually going to break a lot this way as well. I'll do well to get this up and down. Actually hit that one perfect. I guess it's just spring greens because any other time of the year it would have been tough to keep that one from getting past the hole. So now I still got 10 feet down the hill. Bad bogey. One over through three. We got one more tough one and then we get to the holes where we can score. I'm not sure when this video will necessarily come out, but when it does, you know, I, I have a studio in my home where I can practice and do videos. And uh, so there's a lot that I can do from there. And uh, also come out to the course to go to the range or practice or whatever 
So I'm curious as to what kind of videos you would like to see. I don't know if now seeing someone play is what you want or if this is now where you'd like to see some more things to help you with your game. Um, I always try and make my videos educational and helpful uh, to kind of share some of what I've learned and what I do when I coach others. But uh, so I'm not sure. So comment down below what you would like to see in upcoming videos. And uh, of course, I'll uh, make sure I do that. Also, you know, if you subscribed, let me know. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But if you, once you're a subscriber, make sure you comment down below your the color you want your name because if you don't know, and I'm sure most of you know because you've probably heard me say this before, but we have a wall in the studio where we put all the subscribers' names up on there because I feel it's our community and I want you all to be as much a part of this channel as possible. So just comment down below what color you'd like your name to be and we'll, we'll get it up there. Also make sure you're watching the videos because I always try and add on some of the names that I'm writing, you know, at the end of the videos. So watch for your name. All right, number four, 175 yards today to the pin. Drop hole par three. Gonna hit uh, a little six iron, a little bit into the wind. Tough hole, not much room to get into the green, the trees that overhang. Just looks like I caught the one on the left a little, hit it, but uh, hit, heard it hit the uh, branch pretty well, but no idea where it went. All right, looks like it came up in a good position. It's kind of short and okay, not up in the rocks. So I'm gonna go place the camera up on the green so you can see the shot. Six feet, safe par. All right. All right, went over through the first four. Now let's get some scoring. Number five, straight away, up and over the hill. It's tight, but it's pretty short. So definitely driver, go for it, try and get down as far as you can. As wet as it is, you can't get to the green. All right, so I caught the trees and it kicked it even deeper. I actually have a shot. If you get over here far enough, it's kind of open. So, looks like they took a tree out down here this winter. So, I've got 155 down the hill. It's going to hit nine iron down. again. All right, looks like we ended up in the water. So we'll take a drop out of the water, but in the bunker. I'm sure my swing looks absolutely dreadful, which is sickening given all the work I've been putting in on the range. But that's always the difficulty and why I have to get out and play is as the swing starts to come in, 
you've got to start being able to transfer it to the golf course. It's number six, it's par five, up the hill, kind of some big dipping fairways and then a big drop off at the green. It is a very reachable par five, typically, but it's got pretty wet out there and the fairway is very undulating. So if you hit it on an upslope, it just kind of kills your ball. So hopefully we'll hit a decent drive. Not great, but not bad. Should have about 235 left. Actually hit it half decent, just kind of had a little flip at the end. It's uh, hooked at the end. Should be okay. Just that on the green. Uh, this is pretty bad. Pins on the left, right in the middle, which is the worst possible spot. It's really sloped. And my ball is right here. So, pretty much impossible to stop the ball at the hole. So, pretty much just have to get it on the green and hope it's within 20 feet. Pretty good. And yeah, that softness issue in the greens really helped me on this shot, that's for sure. Looks like it landed right here. Yeah, see so about 20 feet, just under 20 feet for birdie. Big break though. Looks like the battery's dying. Missed that putt to left short, so I made par. I'm gonna try and use my phone for the uh, last couple holes. Number seven, par four, up the hill. Straight away par four, about 380. Pretty tight up there, but we're gonna drive her. again all right not sure what happened there but my phone decided to reboot when we we're up in the fairway so my ball is up there I got this putt for birdie Thought I might have made the birdie there, but made the par and don't have much bow and battery left. So I'm gonna try and get the last two holes in. I'm gonna just show the shots and then I can wrap it up at the end. Nothing else when I get back in my car and get my car charger in. Both these holes, by the way, are par fours, about 390. First one's straight up the hill and the other one's down the hill and both are good birdie holes. Go. Best one of the day. Well, the battery certainly didn't last very long. Uh, so I think we got the tee shot on eight, which is actually a good tee shot. First one I hit all day. Uh, my second shot, I had about 135 to the pin and came up just short and left. Uh, chipped it up, just missed it. Uh, was about six feet past the hole, made it coming back for a par. And tee shot on nine, I was in the left trees punched it out by the green. 
hit a really good chip shot. I actually thought it was going to go in and stop just short. I think it was like maybe an inch short of hitting the cup. So that would be a tap in for a par. I got it up and down six out of seven times and was two for two from the sand. Uh, both of them were great up and downs, uh, long bunker shots, uh, in which I hit some really good shots the way that exactly the way I wanted to, had some lengthy putts and uh, was fortunate enough to make them. Uh, hit uh, only two greens in regulation, which is kind of the par for where my game is, but uh, I have a lot of work to do with that. Whoa!